to make our sacral chakra balanced again, we must go back and we must learn to let go. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to Road to Venus. Before we begin, this is a part series to the chakra series. So if you haven't checked out the rest of the videos, please check them out there in the description below. This is video three of an eight series, so make sure you check them all out. Our sacral chakra is located just below our navel and above our root or base chakra. As we spoke about in our last video, our base chakra is all about the physical world and the physical things in our world and is in the physical aspects of how we perceive. The sacral chakra is one of the most strongest chakras we have and it's all about emotions and connections, helping us understand how to accept control and monitor our emotions. The sacral chakra is linked to the color orange. It is described as a six petal lotus flower located below our navel or our belly button and it is facing outwards. Now the sacral chakra is all about emotions and creative emotions and helping us understand our emotions and how they connect us to the spiritual world physical world and everything in between. It helps us to define who we are and our purpose based on connections of emotions and understanding our own emotions and our own desires. This helps our emotions flow through our body and help us to understand our emotions in a creative way but also in a, in a sense of awareness. This helps us control all our emotions, happy, sad, anger, sexual energy and our sexual connections and our connections with other people and their emotions. It's all about a constant flow of balance. Now when our sacral chakra isn't balanced we have this this feeling of loneliness and lost or disconnected to ourselves physically and emotionally. We feel like we are detached from our body. We feel like we don't have an emotional connection to anything or we can't understand our emotions and we let them overtake. We don't have that constant flow of freedom. We lose the attachments of our emotions and we can't describe them anymore. And this can lead into people needing to be medicated for this or detaching themselves from other people. The sacral chakra helps us with our flow and the way that we move through this world in a physical form. The best way to keep us aware and sacral chakra balanced is to use law of attraction and to understand our emotions. I have a video on law of attraction down below as well so make sure you check that one out. It's all about what you give is what you get and with our sacral chakra it's the same thing. What you give out is what you will receive, how you feel is what you will attract. It's learning to flow with our emotions and it's learning and it teaches us and it keeps us aware of knowing that what we put out we will rec receive in return. The sacral chakra is all about giving and receiving flow and learning to let go. The best ways to keep our, our sacral chakra balanced or if we feel like our sacral chakra is unbalanced and we wish to get it balanced again, my three tips and the three easiest ways to keep your chakra balanced is number one is to try and wear some orange and keep orange around you to keep you aware and to remind you daily to be aware and to accept the responsibilities to remind yourself to attract what you desire and to give what you desire to learn to receive and give the second tip is to let go. I've also done a video on learning to let go and when to let go. This, the sacral chakra is all about our emotions. And if we're storing a negative emotion, we're feeding that negative emotion to continue to grow and to expand and we are attracting more negative emotions around us. So if our sacral chakra is unbalanced and we are not doing anything about it, we're actually attracting more and making the situation harder for us to heal, which is causing the imbalance to worsen. And it's gonna stop us from being able to understand and control our emotions and to be able to adapt into this physical world 
of understanding of how to connect and respond to other people. To make our sacral chakra balanced again, we must go back and we must learn to let go and we must fix situations that, have to, that are, are dwelling on, on us and is forcing us to hold this negativity and hold this emotion that is stopping us from moving forward or stopping us to be able to achieve the things that we want to achieve and to bring balance back into our sacral chakra. It's all about going back and learning to accept situations, to learn to let go of situations. So definitely check out my video on learning to let go, how to bring that balance into your sacral chakra. And the third and the most easiest one, which everybody does daily, and that is surround yourself and submerge yourself in water. Now our sacral chakra, just like our emotions, are linked to the element water. And it's all about constant flow and unity and purity. The best way to reactivate and to rebalance our sacral chakra is being aware in our present time and submerging us in water and letting that water release the negativity away from you and let it rejuvenate your sacral chakra and bring it back into harmony and balance. So I hope this video has given you an understanding on the sacral chakra. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, hey, I'm Peter. Welcome to Road to Venus. Hit that subscribe button. And like always, guys, any questions or comments, please list them below. And please make sure you check out the rest of this series. There is the descriptions below. Like I said, this is part three of an eight series followed by a me meditation and healing sessions for each and every chakra that we are talking about. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And until next time, peace and love.